Hi everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is still fall, it doesn't feel like fall in Miami yet. I've probably mentioned this a million times. However, it is pumpkin season, so I wanted to make this video to share my favorite pumpkin products for the fall. Now, because I do live in Miami, these pumpkin products are mostly food and beauty products because that's pretty much all that you can get for pumpkin stuff. I mean, we do have real pumpkins, but they don't last. In fact, I did a Trader Joe's video where I showed some pumpkins that I got for our entryway and those pumpkins are no longer with us. It is probably the hardest part of just kidding i'm being so dramatic it's not the hardest part of living in miami but i do really miss fall like living in miami that is like one part where i'm like man i really do miss fall but anyway not to be so dramatic now let's move on to the products i wanted to start with beauty and so i wanted to share the summer fridays overtime mask this is what it looks like obviously i've already used it so that's why it's all squishy but i'm just going to show you what it looks like on my hand and so that's what the product is and it is a pumpkin enzyme mask it's an exfoliating mask and it's supposed to be for brightening and it really does help honestly i love this mask as somebody that has very sensitive skin i only use it once a week because it is a little bit i don't want to say it irritates my skin because it really doesn't but it it does have these little beads to exfoliate the skin and so anytime I use something that is more of a physical exfoliator like this versus a chemical exfoliator I pretty much can only do like once a week because it is a little bit rougher on my skin again it doesn't really irritate it too much but I like to be extra gentle with my skin but I'm gonna show you here you literally just like you know massage it onto your skin I just leave it on my skin well obviously on my face right now I'm showing you the hand just like for educational purposes but i leave it on my skin for about like 15 minutes and then i wash it off and i'm very very gentle when washing it off so definitely do not like scrub your face or anything just very gently wipe it off and your skin looks so much better afterwards it really is very brightening and hydrating and so i love using it once a week like i said i love that it is pumpkin because it does really smell like fall so when you apply it it's like wow this feels like fall on my skin so big fan anyway another pumpkin beauty product are these pumpkin eye patches or little like eye masks and it comes with this little box but they're individually packaged and this is what they look like so you literally just open this up and put it under your eyes these are enriched with pumpkin extract fruit enzymes and honestly i've used them a couple times i only have five in this package so i've already used them twice and every single time i've used it i mean i say it like i've used it a million times just two but anyway i have actually noticed a huge difference under my eyes it does help with brightening and it does help with some of the puffy so I love it big bonus for these ones store them in the fridge So they're pretty cool and then when you put them on it also helps with that cooling effect to even reduce more of the puffiness I got these in my fat fit fun fall box, but honestly highly highly recommend buying them Okay, now onto some snacks because you know pumpkin is edible and it makes for some really great snacks So we've got these three wishes cereal. This is a pumpkin spice It is a limited edition as you can see right there and I love this one I tried it for the first time last year and I was obsessed with it. I'm a huge cereal fan Although surprisingly, I don't have cereal that often Often, but I do love it and I'm a big big fan of this one I also love three wishes because it is less sugar than your average cereal In fact, it says 60% less sugar than the leading pumpkin spice cereal and it has more protein than your average cereal You can see in the ingredients that it has just chickpea tapioca pea protein organic cane sugar natural flavors and monk fruit So not too bad compared to like the regular cereals that have a ton of sugar This one only has three added sugar three added grams of sugar Which is something that I I mean, I think I mentioned before but I like I definitely don't track calories or anything like that but I am mindful of my consumption of sugar, sodium, cholesterol, all that stuff because genetically I do have high cholesterol and a couple other, you know, genetic things that I need to be mindful of. And so I'm definitely like, I pay attention to the ingredients and the things that I eat for health purposes. If you are vegan, it is vegan. It also has no wheat, no corn, no rice, no dairy, no oats, peanut free, and no soy. And it is gluten free. So if you have any sort of, you know, allergies or any dietary restrictions, this one is pretty good, I would say. I'm also a huge fan of Magic Spoon cereal. I actually don't know if they have pumpkin, like a pumpkin edition, but their regular cereal, like their fruity one and stuff like that is so good. So highly recommend them. Honestly, Three Wishes and Magic Spoon are two of my favorite cereal brands. Now onto pumpkin pancakes. So I love love birch benders this is the brand is birch benders and i love their i think it's called confetti mix and also their blueberry mix these are really really good pancakes it's just a super simple mix you don't have to do anything other than literally just add water and then you just make them on the pan and it's super easy i like that they're fluffy because normally when you do like healthier pancakes they don't tend to come out that fluffy they tend to be a little bit more flat i feel like birch benders has a little bit more fluffy pancakes this one specifically is paleo some of their versions or like their mixes are paleo others are keto like different things they just made this one paleo it is grain free gluten free and has no added sugars in case that's something that you're keeping an eye for and if you want to make pancakes you literally just do water to this mix and for waffles you add a little bit of oil just one tablespoon of oil but again if you have any sort of allergies this is gluten-free as well so 
pretty good. Now, another brand that I absolutely love is Simple Mills, and they also have a pancake mix. I love the Simple Mills. It's all about simple ingredients, hence the name. And it really is. I mean, this one has almond flour, arrowroot, pumpkin, organic coconut sugar, organic coconut flour, cream of tartar, organic spices, which includes cinnamon, nutmeg, and clo cloves, which makes like pumpkin spice and baking soda and sea salt. This one has just three grams of added sugar, so it is not a sugar-free or like no added sugar meal, but three grams is pretty low. And it is also gluten-free. These ones are fine that are not as fluffy as the Birch Benders one, but I mean, they still taste really good. So these I feel like are nicer to really like make a few and then stack them together like the photo. Whereas I feel like the Birch Benders one, you can literally just do like one or two and they're pretty fluffy. Anyway, like I said, I don't track anything other than just making sure that the ingredients that I'm consuming are pretty natural and so I really, really trust Simple Mills. I feel like any product that I've had from them has always made me feel really good and that's one of the biggest indications for me is do I actually feel good when I eat this food? And Simple Mills always hits the mark. I love Overnight Oats and Mush is actually really, really good. I love a lot of their flavors. This one specifically is the pumpkin pie flavor and it is delicious. You can obviously make something like this at home. Making Overnight Oats is relatively easy, but I also love buying this one because it's already pre-made easy. I don't have to actually do anything. And again, they have pretty good ingredients. So this one is one of my favorite snacks, especially for the fall season or well, pretty much only for the fall season because they this one is a limited edition, but really recommend Mush if you get a chance to try it. Okay, next up is this Cleo Bar Greek yogurt bar. And actually this has been my first year finding it and trying it. I don't know if they've been around before. They might be or they might have been, but I had never seen them before. It is gluten-free in case you are, you know, celiac or gluten intolerant. And because it is Greek yogurt, it has live active cultures. So it is, you know, a nice form to add some of those live active cultures that help with just your gut in general. This one's nice for like a little dessert in my opinion, but I mean, I think you can also have them as a snack, whatever you prefer. This is another chocolate that I love and this one's pumpkin spice. It's a limited edition, like it says right there, but I have actually tried a couple of their other flavors and they're really good. It's a cocoa truffle bar is what it says. It's dark cocoa, raw honey, sprouted pumpkin seeds, cinnamon, and clove. I will say it's thick. So, I mean, like it says cocoa truffle bar. It is, it's not like a light chocolate that you can eat this whole thing in one sitting. Like I would feel, I mean, I don't know, maybe you can, but I would literally just feel pretty not up for it. It is, it is thick. Like a little goes a long way with this one. It's more like a fudgy consistency, I would say. So not your typical chocolate bar. It is a little bit thicker and more filling in a way. You do have to keep this one refrigerated. And actually same thing with the Cleo bar. These two go in the fridge, but I mean, they're pretty good. Another pumpkin product that goes in the fridge is this pumpkin spice cookie dough. And I actually featured this one in my September monthly favorites because I am obsessed with this. It's such a good post lunch, post dinner, post whatever dessert. And you can eat it like straight up from the jar I mean, it is cookie dough straight up for the, from the jar, or you can actually bake it into cookies. I have not yet baked it into cookies. I might just do it just to like see what it is like, but it's just so good straight out of the jar that I'm like, I don't even need to, you know, bake it. Like it's, it's just as good straight out of the jar. Okay. And last but not least on my pumpkin list, we've got candles, which are literally an obsession for me. I love candles. First up is the Trader Joe's vanilla pumpkin candle. So this one comes in this little tin. They also have the apple one. And I love this one. It smells pretty strong. Like it does. I do feel like it does it the good job of like making everything smell and it is sweet because it is vanilla pumpkin so it is a bit of a sweet smell it can be a little bit overpowering at times but i'm honestly a fan of it because i love the smell of pumpkin but chris for example not so much so i actually burn this one when it's just me and obviously i also have a target pumpkin candle because what are candles without target candles this one is from threshold and it is pumpkin spice and what i love is that the wick is one of those like wood burning ones so it makes a nice noise when you light it up obviously i have not lit this one up but i can tell you that it literally already smells so good without me even lighting it up so i cannot wait to do it i just haven't done it because i have a million other pumpkin candles that i'm trying to get through or fall candles in general most of them are actually apple but i'm very excited for this one because i love the sound that it makes like these kind of wicks and it also like i said it smells so good like even just now holding it i'm like oh my gosh this is just fall in a candle. Anyway, those are my current favorite fall pumpkin products. I hope you liked this video and I hope that it was helpful. If you tried any of these products or if you have any other favorite pumpkin products that you want to share, please leave that in the comment section. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, and don't forget to subscribe. See you next time.